how to transfer photos from Android to iPhone using four simple methods and without erasing your iPhone. Let's get started. Our first method is using Google Photos to transfer photos from Android to iPhone. First of all, on your Android phone, head over to your gallery and select the photos that you want to transfer to your iPhone. After selecting your photos, click on share and from this list, select upload to photos and make sure you are already logged into Google Photos using your Gmail account. After that, click on upload. After uploading your photos on your iPhone, head over to App Store and download Google Photos app. After installing the app, open it, click on continue and give all the required permissions. After that, make sure you are signed into the same account that you use on your Android phone. Next, select the photos that you want to transfer. So in my case, these are the photos that I just uploaded to my Google Photos. Select them, click on share, next click on save to device. After that your selected photos will be downloaded to your iPhone. Now let's see. As you can see these are the photos that I transferred from my Android phone. Our second method is using an app to transfer photos from Android to iPhone. First of all on your Android phone. Open up Play Store and download this app. The app is called AirDroid. Link to everything used in this video will be given in the description below. After installing this app, open it and make sure you also install this app on your iPhone. Once the app is open, the first thing you have to do is to create an account. Don't worry, creating an account is completely free. You can either create an account with your Google account, Facebook or Twitter account. Since I already have an account, so I am going to sign in. Make sure to sign in to this app on both of your devices. After signing in, click on transfer on your Android phone and under my devices you will see your iPhone. After that click on your iPhone and from here click on this photos icon and select the photos that you want to transfer to your iPhone. After selecting your photos, click on send and wait for the photos to be transferred to your iPhone. Once it's done, now on your iPhone, go to my device, click on your Android phone and as you can see, these are the photos that I transferred using this app. And also, these photos should be saved on your iPhone's photos folder. As you can see. Our third method is using a software to transfer photos from Android to iPhone. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer with active internet connection. After that, you need a software called Mobile Trans. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. The software is also available for Mac users. After installing the software into your computer, open it up. With this software, you can also transfer your WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone. In order to transfer your photos, click on Phone Transfer option. Select phone to phone option. Now connect both your phones to computer using your USB cable. After connecting your phones to computer, wait for the software to load data from both of your devices. As you can see on the left side you have the source phone. This is the phone that will transfer the data and the destination phone will receive the data. So in my case I am going to transfer photos from my Android phone to iPhone. So I am going to click on flip and it's going to change the order. Next, select the type of files that you want to transfer to your iPhone. So in my case, I am going to transfer my photos, all of my photos, my videos and my music files. You can select whatever option you want from this list. After that, click on start and wait for the transferring process to complete. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? Your one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. Once the transferring process is completed, you will have all your selected files transferred from your Android to iPhone. Our fourth method is using a pen drive to transfer photos from Android to iPhone. 
In this video, I am going to use this pen drive. It's called SanDisk Wireless Stick. You can get yours from the link given in the video description below. With this pen drive, you can transfer data between multiple devices at the same time wirelessly. Now let me show you how you can transfer data using this pen drive. Alright, first of all, turn this pen drive on by pressing and holding this power button. If the LED blinks several times, that means it's turned on. First of all, download and install an app on both of your devices. Just go to Play Store or App Store and search for SanDisk Connect Drive. This is the app. Make sure to install this app on both of your devices. After installing the app, the next step is connecting your both phones to this pen drive. To do that, head over to your phone settings, go to Wi-Fi, After that, open the app that you just downloaded. Once the app is open, as you can see, these are the files that I already have inside this pen drive. In order to add your pictures to this pen drive, click on this plus sign and select the photos or videos that you want to add to this pen drive. After selecting your files, click on this red button. And I'm gonna save these photos inside a new folder called picture and I'm gonna paste the picture inside this folder. Once it's done, click on OK. And now on your iPhone, open the app. After that, find the folder in which your pictures are stored. So in my case, this is the folder. In order to select these photos, click on the select option. Next, click on this share option. And from here, tap on Save to Camera Roll. Once the transferring is done, click on OK. And now, let's go to Camera Roll. As you can see, your transferred photos will be saved inside a folder called SanDisk Connect. So there you have it guys. That is how you can transfer photos from Android to iPhone using these four methods. Please let me know which one of these options you are going to try. Let me know your answers in the comments section below. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Like and share is completely free, it will not cost anything to you guys. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe my channel with notification on. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Peace. While this process is taking place, would you please share this video? While this process is while this process while this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? Your one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do.